For example, you are given such a vehicle, the white car, to be behind the green car. There are quite a number of facts that you need to put into your considerations. The first thing, where is the white car? In which lane is the white car? And where is the green car? That is very important. Now you use the shortest route. Now the language to use, you say, I'll put on the engine of my vehicle. Then move, stop. Give way from my right hand side. If the roundabout is safe for me, I use lane 3 in the roundabout, proceed, then indicate to change lanes, then join the immediate lane. Proceed, proceed, then stop. Give way from my right hand side. If the roundabout is safe still, I make a U-turn. Then I'll be behind the green car. Okay? That is how it should be done. Now, what about if you are given this car and this one, then someone asks you, drive the white car to be ahead of a green car. Now, this is the language to use. I'll boot on the engine of my vehicle. Of course, give way from my right hand side. Then make a L turn. Then on reaching here, indicate to change lanes. Proceed, proceed, stop for pedestrians. Proceed and indicate, turn, proceed, proceed. Then come this way. Then proceed. Because it's like I've crossed this road, proceed. I use parking route. Okay, proceed. Then, okay, come this way. Then join the immediate lane. Then come this way. Then I'll be behind. Okay? But now because we are not allowed to stop here. Okay? You make sure you stop here so that you can say I'll be behind the green car using an L turn. Alright? Now suppose you are told to go ahead of this one, as I said early. You, you put on the engine of your vehicle, proceed, make sure the roundabout is safe from the right hand side, indicate to change lanes, proceed, you stop for pedestrians, proceed, then you stop, give way, proceed, indicate to change lanes, then I'll be behind the green car. So I've given two chances. I've drove it two chances. So we can see the shortest route and the longest route. So when do we use exit? We use exit if the roundabout is not accessible. And by now, it cannot be accessible because there is this vehicle here. All right? Good. Now, suppose a vehicle is put here, okay? Then you are told, drive the white car behind the green car. So this is what you say, I'll put on the engine of my vehicle, proceed and stop. Give way from my right hand side, then join the innermost lane, then make a O turn. I'll be behind the green car. Okay, now suppose you are told you drive this white car and take it to controlled parking zone. So this is the language to use still. I'll boot on the engine of my vehicle, then stop, give way from my right hand side, then you join the innermost lane, come, proceed, proceed, then indicate to join the immediate lane, then indicate to change lanes, then stop. Look right if the roundabout is safe, I indicate left and turn. Proceed, then I park next to this green car. Now always remember to park next. If there is a vehicle ahead of you, park next 
to this vehicle because that is how the law requires. Now, what about if there is no vehicle in the controlled parking zone? Remember to park it from far left. And if there is a vehicle in controlled parking zone, I have said early, you park here. So that we make this one full before we join this one. Okay. Now, what about if you are given a, a vehicle like this one and you are told drive this vehicle to be ahead of this one? Okay? So this is the language to use still. I'll boot on the engine of my vehicle, then stop, look right. If the roundabout is safe, indicate and turn. Proceed. Proceed, stop for pedestrians. Proceed, proceed, then stop, give way. Then you proceed, you proceed, indicate to change lanes, indicate to change lanes, then you go this way. Okay? So, uh, this vehicle will continue making a U-turn, then it will be behind you. Remember, there are quite a number of mistakes people make, especially when we are using this one. If there is a, a, a route from here, make sure you join lane 3, then you proceed, come this way, indicate to change lanes. Okay? So make sure this vehicle that is here, okay? If you are told to drive this vehicle, if you are told... For example, now, drive this white car to be behind the yellow car. As usual, you make a U-turn. So you don't come this way. Proceed. Okay? Join the immediate lane. Indicate to change lanes. You stop. When reaching here, you look right, left, right again. You cross the road. Proceed and stop for pedestrians. Proceed, then you join the immediate lane. Now, when you are here, you have a chance of coming to lane 3, then you come to this area. Is that correct? Okay. Now, what about if you are given a vehicle to be here so that you can drive this vehicle behind the red car? So what you say, you put on the engine of your vehicle, look right if the roundabout is safe, because this is lane 4. Make sure you join lane 4, make a complete turn, then go straight. Then on reaching here, indicate to join the immediate lane. So indicate to change lanes, proceed, then stop, okay, for pedestrians to cross. Then you proceed then remember to keep a distance of 70 meters. Okay, that is very important. That's very good to remember. Now, there are cases where a vehicle can be put this way just to test you if you truly went to a driving class. Now, somebody tells you, drive this vehicle behind behind the white car. Drive the red car behind the white car. So you must remember that when looking at direction showing arrows, all vehicles are moving towards one direction. So if you are going this way, then you are making a mistake. So it is good to remind that instructor or examiner that this is a one-way traffic road. We cannot make it uh, in opposite way. We can commit. We can commit an offence. We can. Uh, uh, we can make. Uh, we can make our vehicles uh, collide with the other vehicles. So it is not right way to move this way. This is against the road, or this is against the law. Then now, remember, when changing lanes, always remember to indicate. When maneuvering, remember to speak. Okay? When overtaking, remember to, to speak. 
when giving way on a junction remember to speak because speaking has got its marks they say it is commentary uh, driving okay now suppose now you are given a vehicle uh, this way and you are told drive drive the white car to be behind the pedestrian crossing I mean, sorry, behind the red car. Remember this way that we are not supposed by the law to stop on a pedestrian crossing. So always remind him that and maybe that is how he can make you pass that ex uh, driving examination. Okay. Now, lastly, lastly, I want to say I want to say uh, when you are given such a vehicle a white car to be behind this one here remember also such a vehicle such a test is very challenging if you are not prepared because some students can bring it this way and go this way. Remember, you put on your engine, but what you are referring to or what you are aiming at is to come to this lane, then you use exit, then indicate to change lanes, then you join this lane, then you will find yourself behind this vehicle. Always remember such things. All right. Suppose now you are given such a test drive the white car behind the red car now you have to look for the shortest route now you you start your engine okay then reverse your vehicle then stop then stop to give way then make sure you look right left then you cross then you stop to give way. That means look right, left, right again. Cross the road and turn. Okay? You proceed, but make sure you don't stop on a pedestrian crossing. Have you had it? Okay. Be aware of some questions again. Somebody puts a vehicle here and tells you, I've parked the, the, the white car on, uh, on that place, please follow me or drive behind me. Make sure that on yellow, uh, on yellow caps or yellow caps, we are not supposed to stop there. So make sure you tell him we don't, we don't park or we, we don't park or stop on a, on a, a I mean, a, on a, on a yellow cap. So what you are supposed to say, He'll, he'll give you marks for that one. That is what you must remember. Then let me talk about the roundabout as per now again. Some people make mistakes when they change lanes on the roundabout. Some people make a mistake when overtaking on the roundabout. Some people make a mistake when stopping on the roundabout. Some people make a mistake when reversing on the roundabout. So some people make a mistake when waiting on the roundabout. So you are not supposed to park, wait, and all these things I have said here. Remember to obey such rules because in our country, Kenya, there are many places we can go where people observe rules of the road and you'll get yourself on, uh, on, on problems if you don't follow the law. Okay? So our towns are advancing, our countries are advancing. Please always make sure you are there with the rule of law. Okay, now, always remember to join the immediate lane. For example, now you are given a vehicle, you are given a vehicle, the white car to be behind the red car. Make sure always you join the immediate lane, then indicate to change lanes. So don't make a mistake of coming this way. Is that correct? 
So that is uh, very important. Also, uh, I saw a question that gave students a lot of challenges. This one here. So a student was asked, okay, to drive the, the yellow car in front of the white car. So this is very challenging. Please look at it very carefully. So you put on the engine of your vehicle, engage a reverse gear, move, then stop, okay? Proceed, then stop, okay? Come, then stop, indicate, turn, proceed, proceed. Make sure it is safe from the right-hand side. Proceed, then you stop to give way. Proceed, if it is safe, then stop to give way, then proceed, because he has to give you way, then you will be behind this vehicle. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Now, uh, I think that is very important, and that is to re what to remember. And uh, uh, in the forthcoming examinations, so we, we wish you the best. But uh, remember to dress smart, as I said early. Remember to cooperate. Remember to be humble. Because they also have a right to trigger and know your, your degree of uh, getting annoyed. So make sure you cooperate and make sure you, you do according to what is required by the law. Okay? Kenyan laws have improved, especially the traffic offenses, traffic rules. Please make sure you cooperate with the officials. Make sure you listen very carefully to the questions you are being asked by the examiner on that day. And make sure you don't fear, because they say in English, uh, fear can kill even the strongest. You can be very strong, but if you, 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 you are weighed by, the, by fear, you'll find yourself getting defeated. So make sure you, 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 let us, uh, you don't let us down by passing these examinations. So for this reason, let me ask if there is any challenge you have.